Hi everyone, it's Rosie from Talking About BPD and today I'm making a video about emotional invalidation. If you have a diagnosis of BPD then chances are you've probably heard of emotional invalidation and it's a concept that was first pointed out by Marsha Linehan, never know how to say her name, um, Dr. Marsha Linehan, the founder of Dialectical Behaviour Therapy also known as DBT, which she designed specifically for people with intense emotions that go up and down, up and down, and who have um, thoughts of self-harm and suicide. So she pointed out that people who struggle with emotional dysregulation, where emotions are going up and down very quickly, um, she noticed that people, people who struggle with that um, had often grown up in environments that were emotionally invalidating. So what that means is um, environments that communicated to children that there was something wrong with their emotions and something wrong with expressing their emotions and something wrong with who, like, who they are emotionally. So for example, um, phrases often associated with emotional invalidation sound a bit like stop crying, why are you always such a crybaby, quit, quit snivelling, or stop being so dramatic, or your friends are not crying so why are you, or why do you have to be so angry about everything, it's this kind of judgmental um, and shaming way of communicating to a child that their emotions are flawed or that there's something wrong with their internal experience or their thoughts um, and it's probably something that a lot of people watching this might relate to so if that's you I, I do feel for you and I know how difficult it can be for a lot of people to grow up in environments that did make them feel like there was something wrong with them uh, for expressing emotions or having emotions or maybe being a little bit more emotional than the next child possibly. Um, I know that was the case with me, like I was a very, very sensitive child and I'm still a very sensitive adult. So the result of emotion, emotional invalidation for a lot of people is, a lot of children rather, is that they just stop sharing their emotions um, simply because they know that if they do, it's not going to give the positive outcome that they're looking for. So for example, they might just not bother to tell somebody that they're sad because they know they're gonna to get told off or they're gonna to get told, oh, stop worrying about it, nothing to worry about, quit worrying, you, your brother's not worrying, so why are you, oh, you're such a worrywart, you know, this kind of thing. Um, so children who get that response, they just quit talking about it after a while because it's just too painful to get rejected and rejected and rejected and rejected or humiliated, scolded, told off, embarrassed, silent, shamed, all of these words, right? So those children just start trying to deal with things, emotional things on their own and children just don't have the knowledge or the skills to do that. Um, so what happens is, they try and manage it by themselves, but they can't really, it's not really effective. So the emotions get bigger and bigger and bigger, you know, and sometimes just trying to contain that emotion is not possible for a child or an adult. Um, it will just burst out in crying or, or ang ang angry fits, fits of anger or, or fits of crying. Um, so actually emo and emotions can just become um, more and more dysregulated the more a child tries to deal with them on their own um, and also it's very common for people who have been in invalidating environments to try to contain their emotions and control their emotions using things like eating disorders or self-harm or drugs and alcohol um, problems and things like that um, so yeah, so the, the therapy of DBT can be really helpful for people who didn't really get those learning opportunities as a child to learn how to manage their emotions or who grew up with that sense of shame for how they feel, for who they are, 
for what they believe, for what they think. Um, so, so yeah, so I found deep doing DBT really helpful because it's taught me skills for regulating my emotions. Um, and it's taught me things like how to validate myself, which is really, really hard. Um, another thing that I would say is that people who have been emotionally invalidated um, as they were growing up in childhood, I don't have any statistics on this, but I do feel that people who grow up in that environment tend to easily fall into relationships or friendships that are e uh, equally emotionally invalidating as um, some experiences they had in childhood and yeah so it's definitely worth just having a look at the people that you are close to and having a look about whether they invalidate you or not or whether they validate you because people who get diagnosed with BPD in my experience and from what I've read do really benefit from being around people who are very sensitive very validating and respectful who say you know, they, that they recognise your emotions, that they appreciate you for being um, sensitive, that they see that as, a, as actually a gift because being emotionally sensitive means that you can tune into other people's feelings, um, you can empathise really well and can often give you a lot of appreciation for other people or you can see things that other people overlook. So, so yeah, people who have been emotionally validated tend to experience a lot of pain actually in adulthood for feeling like there's something wrong with them for how they feel or how much they feel when actually that 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 there's nothing wrong with them for for being emotional or for struggling with emotional dysregulation because it's not it's not their fault at all um so yeah i'd love i'd love to know your thoughts on this video um i'm a bit sleepy today so it hasn't been the most eloquent video um but I'd love to know what you think and I'll be making more videos very soon. Bye!